In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to run the Y sale passing concept in Madden 23. Now, if you're watching this video and you're looking to take your Madden game to the next level, make sure that you join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It's going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Over 22 ebooks in the Patreon page. I'm guarantee you that it's going to make you a better Madden player. If you want to sign up, the link is going to be in the description. So let's take a look at Y sale out of the spread formation. This is an air raid concept. You could also say that this is a uh, flood concept as it's in the flood menu in Madden. It's not exactly flood though. It's a little bit different. We're going to we're going to talk about kind of the primary difference of why sale and why this is an effective concept in Madden. So what we're going to do here, I'm in the Bengals playbook, but you can be in any playbook. It doesn't matter. Um, you're going to probably find some variation of why sale in any kind of spread formation. Y sale essentially is the Y or the inversion to Y cross. We talked about Y cross a few days ago, and I'll show you the difference between the two. I don't think I have a Y cross in this playbook, which is fine. I can show it to you because I can create it. So if you take a look here, this is very similar. Um, this play right here is very similar to Y cross in the fact that the tight end is the primary route on the field. Now, if we were running a Y cross or traditional Y cross concept, it would look something like this right here. You have that tight end running that crossing route over the middle of the field. So what Y sale is designed to do is it's, a, it's designed to essentially counter Y cross. We're now going to take the play in an opposite direction and we're going to attack the right side of the field. So I'm going to reset my play. And this Y sail route is really a rounded type of out route. He's going to run about, he's going to take that internal cut like he would in Y cross. And then he's going to round out that out route to the corner. Now, the you might think that um, you can actually defend this play with very little work. For example, you might say, well, I'll just call cover three against this play and this is going to stop it. The one adjustment that I would recommend is taking the running back and putting him on an out route because he's going to be more of a flat threat uh, on this play. If you don't want to do that, you can leave him on this table route. A lot of the plays Y sale have the running back on a table route. You could also actually run this running back on a little angle route. There's some air raid teams that do this, uh, but basically this is how the play looks. And what we're going to look to here is we're going to look outside. If there's not a hard flat on the field, we can throw that running back route, and you would be uh, you would be shocked at how many yards you can actually get on the flat routes this year, um, especially if you wait on the route to develop. So you see here, here's a little bit more. Here's that standard sale. You're seeing that we're getting about five to ten yards. Now the air raid offense was originally, and this concept was originally designed to be almost like a spread West Coast style of passing attack, right? We would live with you know four to five yards a pop. It doesn't really matter because again, we we have you know three downs to get a first down. It was meant to be a short passing game, if you will, and this is kind of you know one of the reasons as to why this is so good because if they're if they're gonna kind of carry that sail route to the corner then you could easily just check it down to your running back. This would then force the opponent to have to either live with kind of dying by a thousand paper cuts or they could come up and take the running back away. And now we're going to highball that outside cutting route for a pretty decent gain. You're going to get about 10 to 15 yards, which is a big deal. Um, it still is a big deal in the modern NFL. So um, you see how this play works against zones. It's really effective because essentially you can't, you have to commit to one of the other. You're either going to guard the sale or you're going to guard the running back route. And if you have a good high ball freeform game, you can throw this almost like a corner route. Um, but I actually think this is a much better route for beating man-to-man -man coverage. So the sale route was also one of the better plays in the area offense for attacking man coverage because, again, this rounded the way that this route kind of rounds at the top of it. You're going to see here this is a really nice man-beating route. What you want to do, especially if you're in Madden, you want to freeform this down and away from the defender. So you see he rounds that out, and then we're going to freeform that down and outside. Now, if you're having any trouble, as you can see, I am with freeform. All you got to do here is just freeform it straight down, and you see that this is actually pretty effective. And again, this is a very simple man-beating route. Now, you can, if you want to, turn this into a corner route. The biggest couple issues with this, uh, number one, the sale route is on the line of scrimmage. That's actually a super big deal um, because 
what's going to happen is essentially he can get to the corner before the fade can get there to clear it out, especially against pressed man. So you see something like this. Now you're throwing into four players, and you see how it's not quite it's not quite perfect spacing. So that's why I actually prefer this rounded out route or a tight end apprentice corner when I'm wanting to run kind of the sale concept in my offense. And you can do this out of any formation in the game. Now on the backside, we got a little pivot route here to Johnson. Um, and then we have a backside dig. This backside dig is simply a great way because the counter to sale is double flattening. It could. It doesn't necessarily matter if it's a 30 yard, you know, double Mabel scenario. It's just the important piece here that they're going to have to double flat to defend this. So what that looks like is it's going to look something, you know, something like this right here with their user being in the middle of the field. So now what you're going to get here is the running back there. It's a three level kind of deal where basically everything is going to be taken away to that side. So now we need to check back side and see if we can hit that dig as our check down. So the dig is kind of that route that's going to do a really good job of attacking the middle of the field. Another reason why I think this is a really great passing concept is because let's say, for example, that they're double flatting, um, you know, and then at the snap of the ball, they're still going to have to probably use of the back or they're going to kind of have to carry up into this area. So what that can leave open for you is this whip route right in that little pocket right there. So if you see the zones kind of fan out like that, you could take that whip route right over the middle of the field. Now, you might be asking, how do I run the sale concept from anything, right? How do I run this out of any formation um, and be effective? Well, I'm glad you asked. We're going to show you here in just a second. So um, what's an example of the sale concept, again, from anything? Let's just say uh, tight slots, uh, for example. Tight slots, a very good meta formation. How do we run the Y sale concept out of something like this? I like the play flood. I think the play flood is probably the best uh, version for Y sale. If you take a look at this, you're gonna you're gonna have your corner route um, on that side. Now, what I like to do, especially when I'm running Y sale specifically, one of the things I want to do is I generally want to run that sale concept to the wide side of the field. So the way that we would want to do that in this context here is we would want to motion this post route out so that there's so that the outside third can't just sit on the corner. And then what we would want to do with our tight end is put him on a smart routed or a um, a little five yard out route. And then we could do a couple things with CD Lamb. We could put him on a slot apprentice post. We could put him on a curl route. We could also put him on a smart routed dig, something like this right here. Now what you're going to see here is we're running the same basic concept just from a different formation, as you can see. Now let's say that you didn't want, let's say you were on short side. If you're running compression to the short side, you don't necessarily have to put a deep post route up there to clear out zones. We can simply just put a deep streak and then now we can motion CD Lamb and create a little bit more space for our offense to work well together. Um, I think that is super, super underrated this year. You have to have a little bit of space to get these routes to not run into one another all the time. The sale concept, in my opinion, is one of the best passing concepts in Madden. And in this video, we showed you how to run it out of multiple different formations. If you want to take your Madden game to the next level, make sure to join the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. It's going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to click that Patreon link on your screen or head down to the description below and go check out the Patreon.